Look, why don't we go out and have a drink or take a walk or something to celebrate? All right. I think there's some champagne in the icebox. Why don't you open it while I get dressed? Okay. I don't think I've ever drunk champagne before breakfast before. With breakfast on several occasions. But never before before. Now, I've got a wonderful idea. We could spend the whole day doing things we've never done before. We'll take turns. Plus something you've never done, and me. Of course, I can't really think of anything I've never done. I've never been for a walk in the morning before. At least not since I've been in New York. I've walked up Fifth Avenue at six, but as far as I'm concerned, that's still night. Do you think it counts? Sure it counts. Now we're even. Don't you just love it? Love what? Tiffany's. Isn't it wonderful? Do you see what I mean how nothing bad could have happened to you in a place like this? It isn't that I give a hoot about jewelry except diamonds, of course. Like that. What do you think? Well... Of course, personally, I think it'd be tacky to wear diamonds before I'm 40. Well, you're right. But in the meantime, you should have something. I'll wait. No, I'm going to buy you a present. You bought me one, a typewriter ribbon, and it brought me luck. All right, but Tiffany's can be pretty expensive. I've got my check and $10. Oh, I wouldn't let you cash a check. But a present for $10 or under, that I'll accept. Of course, I don't exactly know what we're going to find at Tiffany's for $10. Like that? Yeah. May I help you? Perhaps. Actually, we were looking for a present for the lady. Certainly, sir. Is there something special you had in mind? Well, we had considered diamonds. Now, I don't want to offend you, but the lady feels that diamonds are tacky for her. Oh, I think they're divine on older women, but I don't think they'll be right for me. You do understand. Certainly. In all fairness, I think I ought to explain uh, there is also a secondary problem. One of finance. We can only afford to spend a limited amount. May I ask how limited? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Well, that was the outside figure, yes. I see. Do you have anything for ten dollars? Well, frankly, madam, within that price range, the variety of merchandise is rather limited. However, I do think we might have, let me see, strictly as a novelty, you understand? For the lady and gentleman who has everything, a sterling silver telephone dialer at six seventy-five, including tax. Sterling silver telephone dialer. Yes, sir. at six seventy-five, including federal tax. Oh, well, the price is right, but uh, I must say I'd rather hope for something slightly more, how shall I say it, uh, romantic in feeling. What do you think? As sterling silver telephone dialers go, I certainly think it's handsome, but uh, you do understand. Well, we tried, but I guess we could have something engraved, couldn't we? Yes, I suppose so. Yes, indeed. The only problem is you would more or less have to buy something first, if only in order to have some object upon which to place the engraving. You see the difficulty. Well, uh, we could have this engraved, couldn't we? I think it would be very smart. This, I take it, was not purchased at Tiffany's? No. Actually, it was purchased concurrent with, uh, well, actually came inside of, well, a box of Cracker Jack. I see. Do they still really have prizes in Cracker Jack boxes? Oh, yes. That's nice to know. It gives one a feeling of solidarity. Almost of continuity with the past, that sort of thing. Do you think Tiffany's would really engrave it for us? 
I mean, you don't think they would feel it was beneath them or anything like that? Well, it is rather unusual, madam. But I think you'll find that Tiffany's is very understanding. If you will tell me what initials you would like, I think we could have something ready for you in the morning. Didn't I tell you this was a lovely place? 